happy Sunday. That noise in the background is the washing machine because yes, I'm doing laundry again. We're either really dirty people or really clean. I don't know which. Anyway, I don't have to... anything done today, but you know, it's Sunday. Uh, Bob goes back to work tomorrow. Um, my sister comes into town tonight. She'll be with us for a couple of days and she's going to drive north towards my dad's, be up there for a couple of days. And then she's going to come back down here and stay with Rebecca and Polyus and the new baby, Junior, um, and help them out while Polyus goes back to work. Anyway, I don't know the exact timeline on that, but that's what's happening. I've got my one of my new thrifted shirts on today. Don't you just love it? I, I just, I love it. The length is good. It looks good with my leggings. I could wear it with some of my wide leg pants. I, I, I mean, yeah, it's, it's so cute. Anyway, we're just relaxing at home today, getting some chores done, making bread, you know, all the things. Uh, anyway, there's other stuff going on. We'll talk about it later. All right. I'll be it back. It is Tuesday, <laughs> uh, May 2nd. Yeah, I forgot to vlog yesterday. Oops. Uh, I have a dentist, it's about 10 a.m. I have a dentist appointment today. So I'm gonna walk over because we are walking distance from the dentist. Ooh, mail's here already. Um, squirrel. Anyway, my sister is in town and, you know, we just got to doing a lot of stuff yesterday and I forgot to vlog, but I am making a pair of patchwork rainbow pants. Yeah, I will put the video down below that inspired this process. And so check it out. And when I get back and start sewing on the pants, I'll film some of that for you all. So stay tuned to this vlog. And uh, I also have an old Ren Faire skirt that I, I haven't been to a Ren Faire in a long time. But it's a really pretty, I think, linen or cotton fabric. So I'm going to make it into another pair of pants. Maybe two, because there's a lot of fabric there. Anyway, also reorganizing my sewing patterns and, 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 and. But first, we need to go to the dentist. So I'll be headed home. My mouth is numb. <laughs> but the last metal filling in my mouth is gone ran into my next door neighbor, Nate. Uh, he's got a filling, he's got to have filled. <laughs> so he was at the dentist and uh, had a nice little chat with him. So anyway, <sighs> all right, we are going to walk home, maybe take a few pictures because I was in a hurry to get here. So I didn't do that on the way here. Hopefully not get rained on, but we have stuff in case. And yeah, let's get to it. Maybe get some sewing done today, maybe. We'll see. I'll be back. Going home the way we got there. We're gonna go by the duck pond because I haven't been over there in a little bit. We'll go see if there's any ducks over there. Everybody's out trying to get some yard work done before the next bout of rainstorms comes. Don't blame them any. All right, let's go. I decided to line the rainbow patchwork pants because I put pockets on them and yeah the pockets are already on there so I assembled the outside seam of each leg then laid it out flat and then centered the pocket where I thought I wanted it and then sewed the pocket and it's flapped down then I finished assembling each leg then put one inside the other one right sides together and sewed around the crotch seam now, I just need to hem them and add the waistband. My mouth is still numb. <laughs> um, I think it might be numb. Maybe thought enough. Is that the right word? To eat something? I'm, I'm really hungry. Um, oh yeah, it's 2.30. That, yeah. So I'm gonna go try to eat something. Um, and then... Uh, maybe we'll finish the pants today. Oh, they're so cute. Uh, uh, they're, they're, I mean, how do you not love pants that colorful? I'm pretty pleased. Hey, you guys. Here are our rainbow patchwork pants. 
Now, I'm not sure I would wear it with this top exactly, tucked or untucked, probably untucked because I'm an untucked kind of gal. But I mean, we even have nice big pockets that will fit my phone and or wallet. They're lined, elastic waist. I mean, I really, I really like it. I like the length of them. I could make, make them shorter, but honestly, I don't think I want to. I mean, I could, but I don't want to. What do you think? And will you make yourself some? Let me know in the comments below. Hey guys, good afternoon. Uh, it is 12.45 p.m. Wednesday, May 3rd. Um, outfit of the day. I'll put a picture here somewhere. Um, these are the pants I made yesterday, one of the pairs of pants I made yesterday. Love them. Anyway, we are going to work on some um, bleach stamping of this green knit dress that I thrifted. It is a large size, is it? It's an extra, extra large. I bought it with the intention of making a blouse out of it or some kind of t-shirt thing. But what I want to do first is bleach stamp the fabric with one of my art foamies. This one, I'll put a link to it down below. You're going to need a plate big enough to stick the stamp in, fold up some paper towels, place them in the plate, and then you're going to want to get the paper towels wet with 50% bleach, 50% water. Don't use straight bleach. It's bad for the fabric and the stamp. Um, and as soon as you're done stamping both sides, go wash your stamp off with soap and water. Anyway, we're going to do that. I'm going to set you up in the corner so you can watch what I'm doing, and I'll be back. Once it's bleached sufficiently to your liking and it's lightened up the color enough for you, put it in the wash and wash and dry it as normal, which you can see I cleared off the table, so it's downstairs, and then you're ready to go. All right, while we wait for that, I've got some seam ripping to do. I'll be back. Guys, I saw another video today by T. Myers, and she showed these pear pants that she made. I made myself some. Using what I had, I already had a pair of blue jeans down there downstairs that I never wear. They were already distressed, and they are stretch jeans, but I made it work. Um, went through the fabrics. I happen to have some with big giant flowers on it, because you know. Um, anyway, I'll show you them here in a minute. I'm not going to put them on because we're going to go walking. But hang on. Okay, this is the front, and this is the back. I also added one of my patches that I made like a long time ago, and I love that. So now I'm just gonna wash them and put them in the um, dryer and that'll help fray some of the edges. I did seam rip the side seams in order to do the sewing, unlike what she did, because these pants do kind of fit me. They aren't super big enough that I was comfortable losing a whole bunch of seam allowance. But if you got a pair of thrifted pants and you got them one or two sizes too big for you, this is a perfect idea. I'll link the video down below. Anyway, we better go get some steps in. I'll be back. You guys got the pants done. Yay. And got my butt out the door. <laughs> so we're going to go walking. We are supposed to get some more storms tonight. Rainstorms. I don't know. We'll see. The sky looks a little ominous, but you know, yeah, kind of always does. Anyway, I also drafted a vest. Well, I made a vest. I got a good progress on making a vest. 
out of some fabric actually from our old couch. It's a long story. I know it's a little ridiculous, but it's pretty fabric. Anyway, I got the fabric probably 50, 60%, maybe a little more put together without a pattern, just drafting it on my dress form. I haven't done that since high school, <laughs> but it's looking pretty it's like good. Project Runway. I know, right? No pattern, no, no nothing. Pattern. Put it on a, on a drape the fabric on the dress form and just start sewing. Form and start cutting and I, you know. Anyway, all right. Oh my God. All right, hey guys, I'll be back. Good morning. It's 9:30 a.m. Thursday, May 4th, I think. Anyways, you can tell my hair is still wet, but. I'll put a picture here. This is my outfit of the day. My new pants I made yesterday. Thrifted jacket. Um, so, upcycled, found, thrifted outfit of the day. Found as in this blouse I found in my closet that I kind of forgot I had. Um, found it a bit back, but anyway, you get the idea. We're gonna go I have to check the P.O. Box, which you all know I've said before. They're doing road work on our street downtown and our main street, and it's not a nightmare. But I think what I'm going to try to do is park at Valley Village, go shopping, and then maybe walk over if it's not raining too hard. I don't know. We'll see. I'll be back. Guys, um, you can't tell now because it's a bit messy again, but I did try to do something with my hair, experimenting for an upcoming family wedding we have. Um, it actually did look good before it got all hot and sweaty. Anyway, a little bit of curling iron and some hairspray works a char like a charm. Bob is off to a Masonic Lodge meeting. I'm up in the art room finishing up some sewing. I've got garbage cans to empty, <laughs> dishes to do, and all of that stuff. But first, I made another pair of pants. I know. I'll try to get some pictures and insert them here. Um, and I'm working on two more puffy sleeve t-shirts. One out of some t-shirts I had in my drawer are called my depression t-shirts, just plain and kind of ugly. And then one address that I found at the thrift shop. So I'm remaking them into things that make me happy and that I want to wear. Anyway, I have four shirts cut out. I'm going to do two tonight. And then I have the black one. And then the um, bleach dyed one with one of my art foamies. So, yeah, and they are the Vera Knit Top Pattern from Forget-Me-Not Patterns. Just for FYI. All right. I better get sewing. I'll be thrifting today, as you all know, if you're watching this clip. Um, found some jeans. Found a nice big piece of a beautiful fabric. Uncut. Um, I'm not sure how much is there, at least two yards, maybe three. But then I got this little knit sundress to do something with. And I realized just as I was coming down, it's still wet. Um, I was coming downstairs to put things away. And I looked at the dress and I looked at the, one of the shirts I just made out of a dress I had upstairs. They're the same fabric. That's funny. I guess that means I can make a skirt to go with the top I just made. Okay, I'm good with that. Or a tank top. I really do like the fabric, so. That was not on purpose. That was a complete accident. But I'm good with it. All right, I'll be back. This is the white top that I made. Isn't it cute? I love the puff sleeves. I'll be making more of the more fitted long sleeve one at some point. Um, before next winter, because it's gonna be a great winter layering shirt. But for the spring, I love the puff sleeves. Now, the pants, these are the pants. I mean, they're cute. They're covered in patches. I have some rainbow sewing thread that I've had for a while. I used it on the pants. <laughs> I I think I might be addicted to making these pants. It's all team. It's all Tracy Meyer's fault. <laughs> I'll link her video for these pants down below. Um, let me try on the other T-shirt for you. I'll be right back. I'd say the pants are a little bit draggy on the floor because I probably didn't take enough off the hem. 
At the moment, I don't mind it, but at some point, if I do mind it, I'll just take another inch off and re-sew the bottom and then wash it to fray. All I did was run like a, a row of stay stitching around the bottom. I'll do a close-up of the rainbow threads. Anyway, let me put the other top on. Now, every time I make this top, how long the top is and how long the sleeves are depend on what I'm making the top out of. In this case, I had a little less fabric than I did for the white one. So it's a little shorter, which is okay. The sleeves are a little shorter too. I still love it. And it does, the fabric matches that other dress that I got today. I had no idea. I knew it was cute and it looked familiar, but you know. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Sewing thread that's rainbow colored. So I just used that on all the stitching on the pants. And yeah, I love the way that turned out. Anyway, I don't know where I got the thread from. I think Etsy or something. But cool. Either these are my or my uh, rainbow patchwork pants. But yeah, cool. All right, I'll be back. By the way, I think I'm addicted. <laughs> Everybody, yes, I have my new blouse on, a uh, t-shirt I made yesterday, and my new pants. I did take the waistband of the pants because they're originally men's jeans, and I cut a hole in the waistband on the inside on um, about an inch in from either hip seam uh, or side seam. I pulled a piece of elastic through and then pulled it a little bit taut and sewed, zigzagged the edges down of course with my rainbow thread. It just makes it a little tighter because these are meant for men's hips, which are straight, right? Makes it a little tighter and feel less like they're gonna fall off, which is always good, yeah. Anyway, we have to go pick up some food for dinner tonight and because um, the kids are coming over and grandson, AKA Junior is coming over, yeah. So we're gonna go pick up some stuff and I'll be back. Why is Costco always so crowded, but it's Costco. Anyway, let's see if we can get everything else that we need at Fred Meyer. And my hair, I don't know. Once right, I had the fabric washed and dried, I cut out one of my favorite top patterns, which currently is the Vera Knit Top. Um, I don't know if you can see it through there. I'll put a link down below. I've spoken before about how I altered the neckline on the top because the pattern's a V-neck and it has really long puffy sleeves with cuffs, which I don't put the cuff on, I just put elastic in the bottom. And it's the top you've been seeing me in the t-shirt with the puffy sleeves. That's, that's the pattern. Now the sleeves on some of the tops are shorter than others because it just depends on what thrifted garment or fabric that I'm making the top out of. In this case, a sundress that we bleach dyed, right? And yes, I have it on, so hang on. Maybe this will work, because you know, professional YouTuber and all, I can't be bothered to get a, a proper phone stand or anything. Oops, so that lighting sucks, hold on. So this is the bleach dye top with one of my new patchwork jeans on. But anyway, it's cute. I love it. Now the sleeves are patchworked together because again, we're using thrifted items, right? We're not buying the new fabric. Number one, it's too expensive. Number two, we're trying to do our part, right? Um, so the sleeves are, are patched work together with bits and bobs. And so they're shorter because I didn't have as much fabric left. Most of it went to the front and back of the bodice but that's okay. I also always reuse the parts of the garment that I can, i.e. the hem, or if it has buttons or something like that, I try to incorporate it into it. So I may do the same pattern, but it may look a little different from time to time. In this case, I reused the hem. I didn't have to hem it. So what do you think? I, I love the pattern and I love that it's my art foamy. So if you have art foamies, do some bleach stamping on some fabric and see about making yourself a garment or using the fabric for a journal cover or something else. It's a really great idea. Um, if you don't have Art Foamies, I will link their website down below. Whether you buy mine or one of the other designers, there's some really great designs over there. All right. I have one more knit top to make this weekend. It's not going to make itself, so 
let's get sewing. Black one done. That's actually exactly the same as the one I have on because it's made out of the same garments. So I had the same amount of fabric. So the sleeves are the same and everything. I love these shirts. Can you tell? <laughs> All right, I'll be back. It is Saturday morning, May 6th. I think it's Coronation Day. Obviously, I'm not watching that right now, but anyway. Uh, I have dishes to do from last night, plants to water. Yeah, what am I doing? <laughs> Heading upstairs to pull out a sewing pattern? Yeah. All right, hang on. Teal silk fabric we've had for way too long. I was going to do this pattern out of it, but I think I found some better fabric for that pattern. And I actually think I'm gonna keep it simple. And I thrifted this pattern from the Goodwill up near my dad's house. And I think we're gonna do a version of that. Not so long, probably the scoop neck. Maybe without sleeves, I don't know. We'll keep it really simple because we don't have a lot of fabric. But yeah, I think we're gonna do that. And then I bought some floral fabric just the other day at the thrift store. That I think we'll do the other pattern out of. So yeah, now that I've pulled that out and set them into piles, or I will in a minute, then I guess I can go do my chores if I must. I'll be back. Guys, I'm going to add this in before the end of the vlog. Remember me talking about thrifting the other day and how I showed you I came home with a dress, a little knit dress that perfectly matches another knit dress I brought home and I made at this shirt out of this one. Well, I took the other one and I decided to make a pair of shorts. Yes. Yes, I did. And they turned out pretty cute. So now I have a whole matching outfit and it had pockets in it, so I left them. I've said before, and I'll say it again, so when I'm doing these upcycling things, I incorporate what I can into the pattern, whether the actual original pattern calls for it or not. I use the hem that's already existing. If it's got pockets, I incorporate them if I can, if it's got buttons, whatever. In this case, pockets. And yeah, pretty cute. Now, I'm going to try hard when I'm thrifting not to come home with any more of this fabric, but obviously no guarantees. Yeah, I'll be back. It's 5.21 p.m. on Saturday, May 6th. Yes, May 6th. Um, we've been out, you know, we did errands this morning, came back, had some lunch. And then we went back out again, went to a few places just to walk around, went downtown into the city that we live in. They've been doing a lot of road work and it's been a nightmare. We wanted to see what they did and what kind of progress they've made. They've made progress, but I don't understand what they're doing. <laughs> anyway, um, and then we drove down to a local farm stand and bought a new plant for the front porch for the spring, bought some homemade ice cream that they sell and a few other things, you know. So, as one does, maybe. All right, Bob's getting um, his Barracuda ready for um, hopefully driving tomorrow to the son-in-laws. He's gonna be helping them with some work on their car. Well, helping son-in-law with work on his car. And um, I'm gonna stay here and probably get some sewing done. Or I might run out to the fabric store, but that's a big if because I'm not sure that I want to do that. I don't really need to do that. I don't need to buy more stuff. I need to work with what I have. So there's that. I do have a dress I want to make from some thrifted fabric, but I've got to get some lining fabric for it. But I don't think I want to jump to going right to the fabric store, especially on a weekend when I have other things to do. So anyway, I hope you guys have all had a great week and um, that you've been able to create what you want and enjoy life and have a good time. That's like the most important thing. If you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Um, 
please like, share, and subscribe. If you want ready access to me and what I'm doing on the regular, more than you see here on YouTube and social media, you can ask me questions. I post things at minimum once a month, if not more, um, in our private Facebook chat and over in Patreon, become a patron. I sure would appreciate it. There's a few pieces of equipment I need and yeah, can't afford, so there's that. All right, that's it for the minute. Go out and have a great day. Have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.